Welcome to the top 60 shortcuts for Logos 5, part 2 of 3. Now, if you missed part 1, that's quite all right. It's still available at the LearnLogos.com website. You can go and download that. If you missed it, not a big deal for tonight because the way we're doing this presentation, we're just picking up with the next 20 shortcuts. So this will be very, very useful. We're not building on any previous foundation. Now, you may be wondering if, there, if you're new to Learn Logos webinars, what is the purpose of a webinar? Well, first and foremost, it's to provide training for Logos Bible software. Second, we typically provide training so you can study the topic for yourself. Now, tonight's a little unique because we're just doing shortcuts. Our other webinars typically are doctrinal based, so we're going to teach you how to study those topics and, and learn it for yourself. Don't forget that uh, I record the webinars and make them available. Normally, it retails for $9.99. We make that available for $4.99. If you still haven't purchased the Logos 4 or Logos 5 training videos, please take advantage of that. It's an amazing offer. Uh, with Logos 4, it's 300 videos, 17 plus hours. For Logos 5, 500 videos, 21 plus hours. And keep in mind, we're not just training you on the features. We're going to teach you how to study for yourself. Plus, we overview over 282 books. Some of these are in your library. Some of these you may want to add to your library. It truly is the most comprehensive training for Logos 5 and the most affordable. And you can download that, have it shipped to you on a DVD, or do both. And this webinar will be emailed to you personally when it becomes available later this week. To buy the training videos, the DVDs, just visit learnlogos.com forward slash buy now. Quick reminder, don't forget to look at our upcoming remaining training for the rest of this year. Go to learnlogos.com forward slash events and you can see the remaining training calendar for 2014. Also, this Saturday, it's not too late to join us, we're kicking off our six-week How to Study Inductively with Logos. This is a brand new, updated training for the Logos Inductive Bible Study. We did one years ago with Logos 4. We're now upgrading that to Logos 5. But so much more is going to be covered. There's a syllabus involved. There's homework. This is going to be personal discipleship, one-on-one. -on -one. There was an early bird special. It has... Uh, expired, but you can still get $25 off if you have purchased any of LearnLogos.com training, especially if you've ordered and owned the inductive training that I did with Logos 4. We're meeting on Saturdays for two hours. Now, if you're asking and wondering, hey, John, I can't make every session, don't worry. We record every session, edit it, and make that available within 24 hours. So if you can't make that time, no worries. You can get the full recording the very next day and then you can complete the assignments the rest of the week. So we really, really try to accommodate your schedule so that you won't miss this amazing and in-depth training. So very excited to bring this to you. A couple more announcements, then we'll jump right into this. Monday, May 12th, two weeks from tonight, we're gonna pick up on part two the Jonah Bible study, and I will have the part one edited by that time as well. And uh, we're continuing along. This is a unique webinar experience in that we're actually doing a Bible study together as a group, and at the same time teaching you how to use Logos to study the particular topic. And uh, so take advantage of that. And then also Monday 526, so one month from today, will be Foundations, Greek Grammar, Part 6. Now, the, the Foundation series is a combination of Hebrew and Greek training. So when, I, when you see Part 6, that's not actually six parts of all Greek. It's three parts of Hebrew and now three more parts of Greek. And what we're doing is we're working through the introduction to learning the original languages, how to use grammar to study. Uh, the, the Bible. And so very excited we can bring this to you. One more thing that I'm kind of promoting is if you're not familiar with this amazing resource, it's called the Companion Bible. And if you go to logos.com and type Companion Bible in the search box, it'll take you to a community pricing bid now option. And this is an absolute must-have resource in Logos, and that's why I'm promoting it. Uh, first, it's, it's, a, it's a study Bible all by itself, which is pretty amazing. The second part that makes this resource really great is all the appendices in the back. There's these specialized articles written on a variety of things from numbers in the Bible to stars, which are some more fanciful things. But also, uh, it has genealogies and timelines. 
And another really neat part of this book is that it has outlines throughout the book on various passages. Now, when I say outlines, I'm not just talking about a typical outline that you would see in a commentary. What they've done is they've identified chiastic structures. They've tried to identify parallelism uh, that you would find in the Psalms or Proverbs. So a very unique resource, nothing like it, and it's such a great price at just $20 right now. So take advantage of that opportunity. Go ahead and sign up for Bid Now at the Companion Bible. Okay, let's get started with our shortcuts. Now, just a quick reminder. Uh, every video we produce now includes a personal book, and we are including a personal book with this webinar as well. So all the shortcuts, as you can see, are listed here. We've got 40 through 21 for this one. Part 1, obviously, is 60 through 41. We're counting down. And so very excited to bring this to you. So what I'm going to do is right-click on the toolbar there, the tab, actually, and I'm going to choose Open in a Floating Window. I'm going to move this off to the side so that we can uh, work with the full screen. Uh, I do have one question here from Sandra. Uh, will the inductive Bible study uh, be available as a self-study course later? So the answer to that is yes. Because we're going to record each session and make the syllabus available, you will be able to buy the whole set after the live training's done. Uh, so, but if you signed up today uh, and participated in it, it'll still be a self-study. Uh, it's just this time, this round, you get the extra bonus of being there live and having the ability to ask questions and do homework as well. So, great question, Sandra. Really appreciate that. So, let's begin with the first one, and uh, this is Marking Your Bible for 13 Greatest Bible Themes. So let me open up the highlighting tool. We can do that by going to Tools, going to Highlighting. Now I have quite a few palettes. Let me scroll down to the one we're discussing tonight. And this is the great themes of the Bible. I call this the Theology Palette. Now good news, you can even download this right now as we're talking about it. Just go to learnlogos.com forward slash free and in fact let me go ahead and do that let me open up the page and if you scroll down you'll see that we have a link right here 13 theological symbols click here to download so just click on that link or go to that link learnlogos.com forward slash free you'll find some wonderful free items there including this one let me move this off the site okay so why are we doing this well Every single passage in the Bible will fall into one or more of these categories. And one of the challenges, I'm sure you've experienced this, is when we become familiar with the Bible, we tend to think in persons or places, events, uh, but sometimes it's hard to see the themes, uh, to see the connection sometimes between all that we know. That's where this comes in. By organizing the scriptures into these 13 categories, you can more easily see how, for example, Genesis uh, is connected maybe to the book of Revelation because of certain things that are connected. For example, in Genesis, we see the introduction of sin and the fall and the loss of Eden and then the loss of paradise. And then we come to the end of Revelation and we see God making a new heavens and new earth and there's no more sin. Beautiful bookends. And we can see that when we're marking up the scriptures. Now, we're going to talk more about this in the inductive Bible study webinar that's coming up this Saturday, but I at least wanted to give you this opportunity to see how this would work. So let me just go ahead and show you how it works. I'm just going to open up a Bible passage. I'm just going to look at, uh, let's see, I think the verse that's coming to my mind here today. Uh, no, that wasn't the one, but let's just do Romans... Uh, yeah, I know, no. Ephesians 2 1. Very easy. And it says, You were dead in your trespasses and sins. So we have to ask the question which topic is this closest to? Is this talking about Scripture? Not really. Uh, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, not directly related. Is this dealing with cosmology? That is the spiritual and material world. Not quite. Angels, Satan, and demons, man, definitely man. 
but look a little bit closer, and you were dead in your trespasses and sins. So this is clearly dealing with sin hamartiology. So what I do is I select the text, and I click the category. So I would definitely click sin. Now we could certainly include man in this as well, and we could click on that. Now notice that the icons, if you do more than one, they overlap one another, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, and that's just the way I have it set up. You could, if you're gonna overlap these, you could just uh, place them in different locations. But for now, let's just use the sin salvation category. I think that would be the easiest way to do this. Okay, now we've got the icon, we've got it marked up. Notice down below, it says annotation added to training at training logos. It's a note. And if I open up my note file, sure enough, there's the link, Ephesians 2, 1, and trespasses and sin. So not only do we get the benefit of a visual highlight connected to our passage, but it also gives us a note file that we then can add additional information. Very, very handy. Now, we won't spend the time to actually create the various shortcuts, but I'll do one just really, really quick, just so you have a quick overview. So basically what you do is you click on New Palette, you give it a name, in this case we would type in theology. Then you would float your mouse over theology, click on the circle at the right with the triangle, and choose add a new style. Once you've got the new style, then you can put in the number. In this case, I think I'm just going to choose 07 cent, just to keep it simple. Then what you do is you look for the image section. So there's image, and you click the box, choose and then you choose a file down there below. And then you navigate to those items that you've just downloaded, theological highlighting symbols, and there is the sin. So I'll go ahead and click on sin, click open, and now my image is attached to this highlight. Now the last thing I do is I change the image position over here at the right. I like putting it in the left margin. It's much more easily to identify, and it doesn't cover my words. Some of my highlight symbols would cover the words, but for my theology, I want it over to the left. And that's basically it. We click Save, and now we have the sin one mentioned. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete it by right-clicking and choosing Delete. I'm going to delete my palette so I can right-click and delete. So it really is that easy to create and use the palette. Okay, so let's see if there's any questions uh, on that. Clarence says, are these shortcuts part of the Logos 5.3 DVD package? I believe 12 of them are, but I've added this 13 new one. So I just recommend just go to the, the website, download the free one, and you'll be in a great shape there. Uh, and Nathan's got a great comment how he's added also to the Jonah Faith Life section there as well. Charlie's asking the question, if we buy the webinar, does it come with the personal book? Yes, it does. The personal book is only available with the purchase of the webinar. Great question. Okay, so that's our first shortcut, and the idea behind this shortcut is to help you more easily see the great themes of the Bible as you're studying. Okay, let's go to the next one, and this one is called Create a Note and Clipping and Leave it Open in Your Layout. Now, this is something you may not have, you may have accidentally fallen, uh, fallen into or, or noticed, but I want to be real deliberate in our studies. So let's do this. I'm going to go to Documents and I'm going to go to Notes, and we're just going to open up a random note, and tonight let's just call it Webinar Notes. Not too complicated. And then let's do the same thing with Clippings. So I'm going to go to Documents, and I'm going to go to Clippings. And we'll do the same thing, but we'll call it Webinar Clippings. All I did was click on the pencil to quickly rename, oops, I spelled that wrong, to, click, to quickly rename the item. Now let me drag from the top on the toolbar so we can see both of these. And I'm going to drag my Bible over to the right and so I can see everything. Now watch this. I'm going to right click on the word. Uh, let's go down to verse uh, 5 and put in uh, by grace. Let's right click on the word grace. Now here is what's really important. I want you to notice that the menu at the bottom right says add a note to, hey look at that, it's our webinar notes. In fact, if we go down a little bit further in the menu, we see that it says add a clipping to webinar clippings. So what did we accomplish? Well, a couple things. First, we've made, we've taken a shortcut. To